I and we turns into me. We will just have to see. <laughs> That's... We messed up. I'm devastated. What's up, fam? Welcome to Landon's Real Makeover! <laughs> Finally time, and I'm so excited for this project use because I have some insane, probably the most insane idea I have ever had is going to be tested on this room right here. It's gonna be nuts, dude. He has, yeah, <laughs> he has no idea what to expect. I know everything he likes, and I have come up with a... What's my favorite shoe? A Nike? Am I wrong? Yeezys? Actually, <laughs> no, you got it right. <laughs> What's my favorite color? Okay, listen, listen, listen. Green? Yep. Ah. What's my favorite? Thing to do? Yeah. Be crazy and basketball and soccer. I know you pretty well, my dude, my guy. And what's I don't think that, he even has a smudgeon, smudge. Is that a word? No. Idea of what we're gonna be doing in here. So first, let's show you the before. Things are very, very, very bare in here. His bed was here. We actually just moved it out. We moved it into his brother's room for the next Mom. two days. That's how long I'm guesstimating this project is going to take. I should say that's how long I'm hoping it's going to take because Landon's birthday is his birthday party is in a few days, and I need it done by then so I'm gonna be up into the wee hours of the night trying to get this done how do I always do this you know what though I think we got it so we took this bed out we put it in the twins room just for the next couple days because it is gonna be a surprise and yeah everything is very bare very boring and over the next 15 minutes you're going to watch this room become the most insane child's bedroom you've ever seen in your life I mean it first things first we got to take everything out of here and slap some paint on these boring white walls I have learned my lesson with trying to do fancy things on walls and so to make it easier, I actually take a picture of the wall, upload it into an editing app, I use PicMonkey, and then I just drag over different colors, different shapes, if that's what I'm wanting to do with the wall. And it's gonna be a pretty insane paint job for this particular room, so I definitely wanted to make sure I get it right before I start slapping paint on the walls. Obviously, the color scheme for this room is gonna be green, black, and blue, and I always like to base everything around one object. Sometimes it's a painting, sometimes it's the bedding. For this particular room, it's gonna be bedding. This is what it looks like. In order to get paint up on this wall, though, we have to go get the paint. So let's head to Home Depot and pick out some paint colors. I ended up going with this one for the green, this one for the blue, and this one for the black. Grabbed a few gallons. While we're here though, we're waiting for them to mix the paint. I'm actually going to be building, by I, I mean we, and by we, I kind of mean Chris. Homeboy. Oh but <laughs> it's my idea. We're gonna be building a rock climbing wall. I, I and we turns into me. Okay, just it's my ideas though. I got good ideas. That's right. You heard me right a rock climbing wall Stay with me here in order to make it safe though. We can't just mount this to the wall We are picking up a massive piece of plywood. Is that what this is? Yeah. Plywood although the longest piece we can find is eight feet and our ceilings are ten feet tall So we're actually gonna need to get two slabs of them. Oh, yeah, I don't like that at all I know, and there's Oh, that's wood. way better. Whoa, what we is it just because it's smoother? It's like more expensive it's a different wood. As you can see this is quite a big task. So we're getting this plywood, we're gonna have to paint the plywood, we're gonna have to mount the plywood, and then we're gonna paint the walls. Do you think my hair looks good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's Guys, my hair looks better than mom's. No. <laughs> the internal? Animal vibe. Okay, I'm Okay, Addy is helping us do some trivia. Uh, Landon and Addy both helped us paint this, but Landon what? is officially getting kicked out because, like I said, this is gonna be a surprise. He just what? has no idea what's going on here, but we just primed this whole piece of plywood and then Chris busted out his, what is that fancy tool called? Router. Router. And he rounded the edges along here and we're about to make the biggest mistake of the entire project. But for entertainment purposes, let's watch it all go down. We're about to screw it into the studs on the wall because this is going to be the base of rock climbing wall. But since I have this crazy paint thing that I'm doing right here, I want it mounted before anything else. That way it can all transition smoothly and I just, I am really pushing it with this design. Like I, we will just have to see how this comes out because I just don't know. I'm winging it. I want something new.
Now I hate your favorite movie Can't believe you did that to me Your song on repeat on my radio Your song on repeat on my radio I know this is my radio I know That is going to be a rock climbing wall <laughs> Update! So we journey. have finished the wall! Hallelujah! The kids are slowly coming in here checking it out, but our next step, I say we're done with the wall. We're actually not done with the wall. We have a lot more to do with the wall. We're just done with the paint on the wall. But next, speaking of the wall, we are going to be putting these on the wall. So this is how everything turned out. And boom, baby! <laughs> I am in love. It came out way better than I could have ever imagined. I just, I'm shook. Okay, Miss Ma'am, I am gonna have you be the test bunny for us. Can you help us decide where to place the rocks for the rock wall? I need to make sure that, I gotta make sure that they're reachable, okay? Yeah. <laughs> we don't really have a plan here. We're just gonna go for it. We might, might regret this later, but. We're in. What I'm worried about. What happened? It just came out. Why? Why did that just come out? I don't understand. I just told you. I don't even understand how this is in. I could probably pull it out. I don't get it. I honestly think that this is not the right way to attach these. I don't think this is the safest way. I don't want to do this the wrong way. I, I don't want it to be unsafe. I've never done this before. So I'll uh, accept this up and. I'm devastated. Let's go the right way. We messed up. Slightly. Big time. You know what though? At Big least, time. No, it could have been way worse. We could have had them all in and someone tested it and they fall down. Yeah. Somebody could have gotten hurt. It was very early and I think we should be thankful. I'm so mad. Do not make the same mistake that we did. We went and got the plywood like we're supposed to, put the rocks onto the rock wall. When we realized that we were supposed to frame out with two by fours behind the plywood in order for these rocks to safely be able to pull and put your weight on and climb on, there's these things called T-nuts on the back of them and they need to go on the back of whatever you're drilling it into. And obviously right now we have got this freaking thing so cemented into this wall that it is never coming off and now we have to take it off and we have to frame it out with two by fours paint the two by fours like oh my god this is putting us way way back i'm devastated but we gotta do this the right way we gotta make sure it's safe and unfortunately it's gotta come down it's gotta get worse before it gets better <laughs> Once that plywood came down, it was time to do it the right way. Note to self, read the instructions before you even start the project, not just right before you install. So we were on the right track with the plywood that is still needed, but what was missing was the framing behind it to attach the plywood to. Since the rocks for the rock wall have to be attached from behind, without a frame behind the plywood, there was no physical space for that to happen. Chris measured it out, cut a bunch of two by fours and attached them to the studs on the wall. And from there, we were able to position where we want each rock for the climbing wall to go, mark the spot of each screw, and then finally attach it the correct way using the T-nuts provided. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have finally, finally finished this. That was a huge detour. I was not expecting, <laughs> Addie's the person to try it out. I was not expecting to have that take up the rest of our evening, but it's fine, everything's fine. And we're putting it to use. How's it feel, does it feel steady? It better, because if that thing comes down, the whole wall of our house is coming down. So it's like you're gonna have to practice. We do have 10 foot ceilings in here, so it is a pretty decent rock wall height. So now that this is finally done, the next step is putting these bars along this wall right here. You'll probably tell what I'm going for here. Landon is the most active kid that I know. He's always bouncing quite literally off the walls. So obviously, just like all my kids, I want their room to be catered to them. And for him, that means never being bored and always having something physical to do. So we're gonna have a lot of physical things for him to do. The next thing is gonna be these bars. I'm gonna run them all the way up the side here, similar to like the rock wall feel, and you'll see where it leads in a minute no when we get there. <laughs> We are on hour 
13 of this bedroom, or it feels like it anyway. And we just keep running into so many issues. The next issue of the day. Show our little prize possession here. <laughs> little Miss Nova got into the paint. She wanted to play games, please. <laughs> We were throwing away all the paint stuff. She ripped open the bag, got paint everywhere. I couldn't even film it because paint was everywhere. Like, it's all over. It's all over her. We washed her in the sink as best we can, but ow, ow. yeah, so that happened. The progress, though, we have made a lot of progress. I pretty much all of this done, and now, oh, I could climb the wall. One tough guy. Yeah, Let's test my construction. <laughs> Scary. Ow, this hurts. You're not supposed to use the bars, you cheater. That's why they're there. Okay. It works. We need a bell up here. Oh. A plus service. How, so how much weight does it hold? Undisclosed. <laughs> So now all we're doing is waiting on the rest of the deliveries from Amazon. We're just supposed to be here tomorrow. We've got the bed coming. I have a few more like finishing touches and then a few more projects, including one more really, really big one. I, again, I just, I'm really hoping that this is going to come together. We're going to revisit this in the morning. But I'm not going to wake up, wake up. Cock a doodle freaking do. We are on what is hopefully the very last day of this room makeover. <laughs> the kids have not been able to get off of this. Landon is gonna freak. Like, the kids got home from school today and they all just ran to this wall, except for Landon. It's kind of sad. It's only, it's only been two days, okay? This project is actually going really quick. Did Kaisen do it too? We are gonna put the finishing touches in this space. It's a little bit of a mess right now. We just had the rest of everything delivered on Amazon, and we have quite a few projects left, but I'm determined to get this completely done tonight. The biggest thing that we're waiting on is the, the bed. So we're gonna clean up what's left in here and finish off the last of it. I don't know why I keep on doing what I'm told to do Then the rules are made up by someone we never knew Baby, wipe your tears and... This is the job of the twins. Like, beat it, beat it. Yeah, like, beat what? Rip it apart. This thing? Rip it. Yep. Just beat the shit out of it. It's it, it, it. There you go. That's our fucker. I knew you used to do this. Go, 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 go. All right, this. Hey, Chris is switching out the light, maybe, having issues with it. And I hired the twins here to break this thing up. This is a massive bean bag. It's a big bean bag. Why are we beating it then? In order for it to um, unfluff faster, it says to just beat the living crap out of it, and I figured you guys would be perfect for the job. So, I love all the sibling help with this room. I beat Kaden a lot, so. Good job, y'all. Good job. Okay, I remember earlier when I mentioned that this was going to lead to something. This is the something. <laughs> Again, we are winging this. Oh my gosh, so I bought this net and it is specifically designed. It's a cargo net for kids playground. I think that's what I found. And as usual, I literally am looking around. Literally everything that I bought for this room is from Amazon. So I'm gonna link everything down below. So I'll have a whole shop for just Landon's room for you guys to shop, even the light, like literally everything. So I found this kid's cargo net and it's weighted for I think a thousand pounds. And now my vision is to climb up this rock wall, go into the cargo net to be able to think of like a McDonald's play place. Climb off the wall and they'll actually be able to go into this tunnel of a net in Landon's bed, which just got delivered and I have to put that together. It goes to here, which is why we cut that there and it is a loft bed. So they'll be able to go down onto the bed and vice versa. I told you I'm crazy. This is the craziest one yet. So Chris just left. He actually had to go to the airport to go pick up Tommy. He's also gonna stop at the hardware store to pick up the more we are out of screws. All these projects were out of freaking like the honking four inch screws. So he needs to pick up more screws. Meanwhile, I'm gonna paint these. That way they blend in a little bit better. I'm gonna attempt to paint this one white. Oh, it's really hard to reach for me. And then I'm gonna paint this green to blend in with the wall. Things are looking good up here. I started screwing in the, those are not carabiners, eye hooks? Eye hooks? I don't know, I forget what it is, but those things, which are gonna hold the weight of this. But I paused for a second because I'm gonna wait for Chris to get back and instead I called for backup. <laughs> we are trying to put his bed together and notice that this is met. Look at this. We have a Ziploc, you guys. And that's just the stuff that's in a bag. 
because most of the stuff is just, just sitting out. Everywhere, everything is broken. <laughs> so sad. Oh no! <laughs> All of the styrofoam looks like. Oh my god! What am I gonna do with these pieces? I don't see instructions even. I'm not kidding. Like this was. Look at this. This was clearly returned by somebody. <laughs> Dude, I don't know. It looks like part of a Lego set. <laughs> <laughs> Is this gonna hold your son's bed? No. <laughs> there has been so much that has gone wrong. Last night, I had I was throwing away all the paint stuff and I put it in a garbage bag and I hung it on the door right here, which I shouldn't have done. The cat <gasps> got into it. No. Is covered in blue oh. and it got all over my carpet. No. Not to mention the wall that we had to take down and redo. So yeah, it's just fitting that the bed is completely torn apart with no instructions. We don't even know if the pieces are all here. And this has to get done tonight. So it's kind of a specialty of putting things together. <laughs> like the Remember our scarecrow? He's so tall us. Really? 24 hour assembly questions, missing parts, damaged parts. Okay, we're gonna have to dial them in and keep them on speakerphone for the next um three hours. No, there's more. <gasps> Look at this. Oh my god, you guys. I don't think this is even, there's no way that they're all here. Like, I'm legitimately concerned. Oh my god. I Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know any. Call 1-800 or via or. Thank you for contacting DHP. Our regular business hours no. are Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Saturday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. Eastern Standard. Update, we found the manual online. Wish us luck. Voila, look at that. Two hours later, we did, we did that. It. I we cannot believe did it. that. I know, I actually can't believe it either. Like we made it through, the instructions online came through, everything was in place. So all the complaining we did, just disregard, because it came together perfectly, and we lifted it over. Landon is so eager to get in here, I promised him that he was gonna see this tonight. So it is go time. I have got to wrap this up quick. Climbs through this and then hops into his bed. It's so cool. Tyson is loving the hammock. He said he feels like he's at the beach. <laughs> you guys, I cannot believe it, but we have reached the end. Three days ago, I had a vision for my Landy Pandy and it has come to life better than I imagined. I can't believe this, all of the things that we had to get through to get here and we're officially gonna show him. So, Landon. Okay, buddy, you have been so patient. Are your eyes closed? Kaden, walk him this way. Cover your eyes, cover your eyes, cover your eyes. It's Tyson. Okay, <laughs> on your marks, get set and Open! It's super safe, it can hold a thousand pounds. Let's try it out, dude. I told you he'd find a way. He'd be the one. Oh, and if I fall, this is my feet bed. This is cold in here. Oh, it's hard. Oh, 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 o
Oh, he's gonna try it from there. I'm telling you, this kid is meant for this room. <gasps> is it comfy? Look. <laughs> Landon, look at your sign. Oh, sick. <laughs> I love this. This is sick. Yeah. Actually. Here it goes in circles. Is this anything of what you expected? Oh, can I hang on it? Falls up. <laughs> Are you enjoying it? Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Three, four, five. I need to put a little button at the top that says you win. Now no one can wake me up for school. Oh. I didn't think about that. We're gonna have a rule on school nights. You have to sleep here or in your bed. Nope. <laughs> Is it really that comfy up there? <gasps> that does look cool. My new favorite spot, I think, too. Okay, I'm gonna come hang out with you. Actually, all day. no, my favorite spot is up there. <laughs> You're so welcome, buddy. That's a wrap for another successful room makeover. Just in time for your 10th birthday, dude. He's gonna be 10 in two days. So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. And good.